Hello and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. This week, I want to show you a quick enhancement to the user experience that I feel like a lot of people either don't know that this is out there or they, I don't know, they think is uh, that just doesn't exist. Dynamics doesn't do this, but essentially, I want to teach you how to convert a regular view, like for example, this one that we're looking at, the All Activities view, into a calendar. One of the main requests that I get in a lot of projects is, is there any easy way so I can see all these records in a calendar? And again, I'm looking at activities, but this could work with work orders. This could work with phone calls that are coming up. This could work with anything, even custom entities. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go into advanced settings. So you're going to click in advanced settings and you're going to make your way into the customization section. Oh, before uh, I actually show you all of that, let's start the countdown. I almost forget. And let's go. So once you make it all the way to the customization area, let me go ahead and open it up. I have it already open to save some time. So here I am within activity and I'm going to go to view. So within views, you're going to pick the view that you want to change. We're going to change all activities, but you could do this for my activities or open activities, or even if you were on the phone call entity for like active phone calls or whatever it is, you can do it for any view. This really works anywhere. And then on the right, on the right hand side, you see that we have custom controls. So we're going to click on that and we're going to add a control. In this case will be the calendar control version two. And you can see the picture already. It looks pretty awesome. It's like a calendar. So we're going to go ahead and click on add. Now, once you add that and enable the three clients, the web, the phone and the tablet, we have to set up some parameters, mainly these fields right here. And you notice that they're required. If I try to save this, it's not going to let me do it. So pretty straightforward. I'm going to edit the start date in this case. So I'm going to say this is the schedule start date. As you can see, schedule start. OK, then the description, which will be the subject which is, you know, like the subject is the regular field in appointments and in emails and stuff like that is that title essentially. Then I'm looking for end date. So this will be a uh, schedule end. And then I can add duration, even though it's not required. I'm just going to go ahead and add it scheduled duration in minutes. So you can see right there. So click OK, then OK. And I'm going to go ahead and click on save and close to save my changes. So I didn't really change anything on the view. All I'm doing is enabling that custom control. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish this entity really quick. While this is publishing, once again, I want to remind you that this works for any custom entity as long as there's a date of some kind so we can drop it in the calendar. The process is the same. You add the control and then set up those fields so it pulls from the right date field within the entity that you're trying to display. All right. So now that that is saved, let's go back into our view, all activities, and we're just going to hit F5. All right. And there it is. This is only showing today, obviously, but I can change that. I can go and show the whole week. Look how pretty that looks. So I'm already excited. Uh, look at the whole month. This is pretty awesome. And you can see all of the activities that we had previously on a list are now displayed into a calendar, right? That allows me to see what the team is working on. And it continues to be populated. Um, it might take some time, obviously, as it gets cached. And I don't I don't have a whole lot of data in here. This is sample data, but you can see how it displays everything, everything that's happening. And just you hover over with the mouse and it shows you exactly what it is. The icon is showing you when there are phone calls or emails that are planned or tasks that need to be completed or appointments as well. I'm trying to see if there's any appointments in here. I don't see any of them, but you can see you can even filter by the specific activity type. You can say when they're due. I mean, this is awesome and it takes only a couple of minutes to enable. So. If you learned something today, if you're entertained by the tips, please, please, please hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when more of these tips come online. I hope you enjoy the tip this week and we'll see you next week.